Hello everyone, and welcome to the beginning of a new series. This is Moosemeister Plays uh, Europa Universalis 4, and um, turns the volume down. Sorry, uh, the uh, music is being a bit loud, I can't quite hear myself talk. It's surprisingly difficult to talk over... Um, you know, I don't know why I'm not just moving master volume. But it's surprisingly hard to talk over loud noises in the background um, when you're not holding a conversation with someone. Anyway, um, yeah, this is Europa Universalis 4, uh, which is another one of Paradox's, Paradox Interactive's uh, grand strategy games. This one is set in, I don't know what you would call this actually, the Age of Exploration, let's call it that, um, from 1444 through, uh, I believe, 1812. Uh, basically through the end of the Napoleonic Wars, um, from where Victoria 2 picks up. Uh, it actually starts a little before the end of Crusader Kings 2, which I always find a little weird when converting saves, because it's like you travel back in time but about a decade. It's a bit odd. Anyway, um, so there's a few things to note about me playing this game. Firstly, I'm not nearly as experienced knowledgeable or good at it as I am at Victoria 2. Now, for those of you who have watched my Victoria 2 videos, um, you may be thinking, doesn't that mean that you're awful at it? Uh, well, yes, because <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly good at Victoria 2 by my standards. By my standards means um, I'm bad at all games, and hence, if I'm decent enough at a game, I call myself good, but I'm, I'm not like, you know, there's some people who post on Reddit or whatever, and they do like, you know, the, the, I saw the other day, I saw Germany in Victoria 2 that controlled almost all of Europe, most of China, sprawled across Africa, connected all of it together through the Middle East. It was crazy, and I was like, how do you do that? I can't come close to doing that. And I think it's mostly because I'm bad at war and don't pay attention to army composition, um, as you've seen in my France campaign. But I guess I don't really try. I am good at uh, leveraging minor nations into uh, great powers, which I do intend to do at some point. Anyway, that's off topic. Um, my point is, don't expect greatness out of this. Don't expect me to do a world conquest. Don't expect me to do especially well. Maybe don't even expect me to survive. I hope I don't humiliate myself that badly. And if I do just fail totally, I'll either try again or try another country. Um... But yeah, so don't expect, like, really good play. That said, I'm not totally new to this game. I've got over 200 hours in it. Um, I do know more or less what I'm doing. I just don't know how to exploit the mechanics very well. Certainly not as well as I do in Victoria 2, or as well as most people seem to know how to exploit the mechanics in this game. Um, secondly, um, I don't have all of the DLC. That, that was it. I don't have all of the expansions. I'm missing Wealth of Nations and Respublica. And I do apologize for that. I know I really should be doing... Like, I should get them before I do a video series on the game. Um, but... how did, I meant to have this check. I am using Random New World because I don't plan to colonize much. I'm playing Pomerania. How am I supposed to do that? And um, I think it's interesting. Um, although, actually, I'd still want it if I plan to colonize. I generally play with it off because I like to convert saves to Victoria too. Um, but I don't think I'll be doing that with this one, so... It's fine. It'll be more interesting. Um, so yeah, I do apologize for not having those. I've um, just bought a new phone. And um, I want to get both the new Super Smash Bros. game and the new Pokemon game on launch day. Which means that right now I am saving all of my money. Uh, just to ensure that I'm able to do that. Um, so, you know, you'll just, just imagine that it's a few months in the past and neither one's been released yet. I'll, I'll, I promise to pick them up sometime soon. So all that out of the way, um, I was thinking I will play Pomerania because I like their flag and name. I really have no other reason why. And uh, as you may have noticed, I am playing with a few mods on. I'm using... Oh, great. I've forgotten the name of the mods. Um, I, I'll, I'll link to them in the comments. Um, comments uh, description. I'll link to them in the, the description, provided I remember to. I'll do it eventually. Um... But I am using a map improvement mod, which I think makes the map look much nicer. 
Kind of more similar to uh, Crusader King 2's map, which recently got a remake. You know, got a new um, new look to it, and I, I quite like it. And I'm using a flag improvement uh, mod, which does pretty much the same thing. And as you notice that Iron, mode is bro Iron Man mode is broken, I am... I don't know which one breaks it, actually. But I, I'm also using a mod that uh, recolors Rebels. And I've yet to see it actually do anything, but I want to see it do something. I think it would be pretty handy to be able to tell... Uh, what type of rebels they are at a glance. So, you know, like, heretics are a different color from, uh, peasants are a different color from nobles, nationalists, etc. Um, right, and I'm also not playing in Iron Man mode. This is for several reasons. Firstly, my internet is really slow, um, and I don't want to have to make the video pause and go all jittery, uh, every month or year or however often it saves because it's saving to the cloud and takes a long time. And, um... Secondly, I think that Historical Nations is stupid and shouldn't be a thing. And if it, I mean, not Historical Nations. Lucky Nations is stupid and shouldn't be a thing. And if it is a thing, it should be like it is in some Victoria 2 mods, where it grants it to random minor powers so that minor powers can compete with the major powers. The way it works in this game is it grants it to major powers. So, say, take France. France, which starts with a massive amount of territory, huge armies, huge amounts of money, and stupid good generals, is then granted further bonuses, just out of blue cheating bonuses, because they're good in history. I don't want this to play out like history. The whole reason I'm playing this is for alternate history scenarios. It upsets me. And Iron Man mode requires you to have it on. And actually, I should make sure it's off. No, it defaults to historical. I want none. I want no Lucky Nations, no bonuses. But yes, dynamic province names, those are fun. Uh, those make it so that if a certain country controls certain provinces, um, or a certain culture group, I forget, it renames them to uh, that language family's name for the province, which is pretty neat, I think. Anyway, rant about Lucky Nations aside, um, it's stupid. And um, apologies completed, let's begin. So yeah, I, I, this will take a while to generate. Um, I do hope that I don't humiliate myself completely by um, failing miserably and dying to Pomerania. Pomer I am Pomerania. Dying to Brandenburg or Denmark or Poland or the Teutonic Order or Austria or Sweden. Basically, I hope I survive and do well. Um, I've never played Pomerania before, which is kind of why I'm motivated to do it. I don't like playing the same country twice. It gets boring. So, um, we'll see how I do. I basically just plan to expand to the west into Mecklenburg and whatever the one next to Mecklenburg is called. I forget. I'll uh, find out as soon as this finishes loading. And then, you know, just build a little empire there. Eventually take out um, the Teutonic Order and Brandenburg. Probably ally with Poland if possible. Um, I hope they don't rival me or something. That would be fairly awful. Uh, what is this one? This is saxe Laurenburg. Yeah, so see, I'm here. Expanded to Mecklenburg, saxe Laurenburg, Lunenburg, Bremen, Brunswick, Hansa, Brandenburg, Teutonic Order. Okay, Poland's okay with me. Cool. Teutonic Order hates me. Brandenburg has been rivaled. That's all fine. I don't care. Um, yeah, Poland's a major player, especially... Hopefully they get the uh, personal uni union over Lithuania. They usually do, but recently I've been seeing weird things. Once I saw Lithuania get a personal union over Poland, that was very strange. Also, hopefully Denmark doesn't go crazy and expand into uh, the HRE. I've seen that a lot recently too. I'm not sure why. Um, all right, only minus 10. So let's just improve relations with Poland. Uh, yes, actually, I, I would like that mission. Look at that. So I can form Prussia, which I definitely want to do. I can form Germany, which I also want to do. Um, and I can adopt plutocratic and arist aristocratic administration. Is that a new thing everyone can do? Or is that a specific thing for... I bet that's a new thing with Res Publica. I haven't even played since Res Publica came out. I've been doing um, a Crusader Kings 2 campaign off camera. And my uh, Victoria 2 France campaign on camera. Um, so I've been distracted. I, I do like this flag mod for things like Denmark's flag. It's like stretchy lines with hearts and a yellow background. I just think it's cool looking. It's weird, but I think it's cool looking. 
Um, let's see. So, I have got one light ship. Well, that's better than nothing. What is my node? I am in Lubeck. So, go protect trade in Lubeck. Go over there. I have no general. Well, let's get one. He's bad. Oh, well. Such is life. Um, because Brandenburg has me rivaled, I see no reason not to rival them. I will also rival Mecklenburg because I intend to take them out. And yeah, I can have more military. I always like to go to um, a small amount more infantry than cavalry early game. I hear late, later game you want um, a lot more artillery than cavalry, but as in Victoria 2, I am completely ignorant of good army composition and generally a bit of an imbecile about it. So let's also do some convert covert actions and um, fabricate a claim upon Mecklenburg. I have a free advisor slot. Do I have any money? Well, we'll see if I'm making any money after all these recruitment. Um, Lines offer from Lundberg. You know, I should ally people like the Hansa and Denmark. Why am I... Hmm. Is Poland or Denmark a better ally? Denmark will draw me into a war against Sweden at some point because Sweden almost certainly will rebel. Um, the Hansa are definitely useful because they can help me invade Mecklenburg. Especially since... Well, Mecklenburg's allied with the Teutonic Order, so I want Poland's assistance there. Um, Lundberg, Lundberg, Lundberg. Yeah, I'll accept Lundberg, and I will just break it. I, I won't royal marry them. I'll just break it um, if I need a diplomatic slot. That seems fair. No, I'm, I'm not royal marrying you. Um, it seems probably prudent to rival the Teutonic Order, because I'm going to be getting into a conflict with them shortly anyway. So, yeah, what the heck. Also, I want their land. Alright. That's soon. And, yeah. That seems like a fairly decent start. I do have some spare cash. Oh, I don't have spare cash anymore. Do I really need these? Galley is good in uh, the Baltic Sea because it is an inland sea. I don't see myself needing the uh, transport ships. And I would like more light ships to protect trade more. It's generally a profitable maneuver. I'll think about it. Um, yeah. Why do you want a royal marriage before an alliance? That's strange. So I would accept the alliance. I'll stab them in the back in a minute, but I would accept it for now. I'll have a drink for a moment. So I am exactly neutral with Poland, but they'll, they'll accept in a moment. There we go. Seems to only go up monthly now. Instead of being gradual increase every month, it just jumps five. That's interesting. So I am allied with Poland. Um, you know, I could Royal Mary Poland. They will pretty much indefinitely be a useful ally. Um, but I think I'll hold off. What do I get? 5 prestige, 25 diplo power. That's not bad, actually. But no, I think I'll hold off for now. Well, it won't do any harm. Um, so yeah, sure. Let's just do it. Excuse me. It'll make them like me more anyway, and I really don't want them breaking my alliance because I need protection from them. There we go. That's my royal marriage. I don't care about papal relations. Um, 
protect against Teutonic Order. Well, I don't have the force limit for that. And claim Danzig. Where is Danzig? There's Danzig. And no, not right now. Um, they're allied with Lithuania, which is kind of scary. But let's offer them an alliance for now. And, um... Hmm. For some reason, they're friendly, but at negative. Do I want a Royal Mary, Denmark? Not right now. I'll see if they become a strong Denmark. If they're a strong Denmark, which means that they inherit Norway and or Sweden, um, then I definitely want them as an ally, so I will Royal Mary them. However, I will be getting into a conflict with them at some point simply because of border tension. And with Poland too, for that matter. But I don't personally intend to declare war upon them, so it's up to them to break the Royal Marriage if they want to attack me. So it's not my problem. Seems fair. Uh, let's improve relations with the Hansa. I can fill up my final Diplo slot with an alliance with them. Because they are a merchant republic, um, the Royal Marriage will not be necessary, hence I am not locked into anything. I am making money, but very slowly. Let's see, 59%. Only allied with the Teutonic Order, that's fine. I assume Poland will honor my call because they're rather fond of me. Um, Denmark very well may honor my call as well. And the Hansa. I can invest in a Cardinal. Let's try to grab this one from Switzerland because he's really young. I know that one's the youngest, but the Papal States already got a substantial leg up on me. Um, will the Hansa? Yes, they will. So, stop relation improvement. Send the diplomat to offer an alliance. Lovely. So, my alliance. Yeah, my alliance map is looking quite good. Whoops. Um, now we just wait for that to finish. Let's continue to uh, improve relations with Denmark, let's say. Just because I'm already royal married with Poland, which means they like me quite a bit. It doesn't really matter. Um, you know, that might not have been the best move. Um, because... I need... Yeah, I need Poland more to help against the Teutonic Order. Um, they have direct borders with them and will be more helpful. I hope Lithuania will still join. Hmm. Maybe I should have allied Lithuania. Because I don't really need Lundberg. And I actually intend to annex them soon. But oh well. We'll see how this goes. There we go, take the mission to take Mecklenburg. Declare war. Poland won't join, but Lundberg, the Hansa, and Denmark will which should be sufficient. Now we send these ships to blockade. We move our army in there. Actually, is he better? He's the same. I don't want to risk him dying. Fire really doesn't matter at this stage in the game. Mecklenburg's army toppled quickly. I can't really fight the Teutonic Order's military, um, and I can't fight their navy either. That was stupid of me, especially since I have no admiral. Um, hmm. I'm doing okay-ish, except not really. Oh well. Um, I don't. <laughs> I'm really irresponsible about navies in these games. I just don't care that much. Uh, you return to port. I'll just build more, um, more of a trade fleet. I just want the income, really. I know blockades help, but they don't help that much. Alright, so I've got Norway and stuff on my side, too. They've called in Hungary because the Teutonic Order took charge of the war. But I have got Denmark, Norway, Sweden... I'm fine. 
It'll be fine. We we greatly outnumber their military. Yeah. Except stupid Loonberg. Oh god. The, the AI is so dumb sometimes. So frustratingly dumb. And look at the time. It's uh just after twenty minutes. See how close am I to completing the siege? Not very. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video here. Um this Sweden's a nice color. Um, thank you very much for watching. And next episode, we will um, hopefully win our war against Mecklenburg, sending us on the path to expansion into um, central Germany here. And um, perhaps to someday forming uh, Prussia, and then maybe even Germany, or becoming Holy Roman Emperor, taking over the Holy Roman Empire. There's all sorts of possibilities. So, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy this uh, new series. And please come back next time for this and for um, Victoria 2. Oh, and I forgot to mention it in this video. I talked about it a bit in my Victoria 2 video. I now have a Twitter account at uh, Moosemeister TV, um, which you should follow to uh, get the latest um, news on what I'm doing with the channel, news, of, you know, me talking about other uh, gaming and computers related stuff. Um, I'll post links to my latest videos, etc. So yeah, go follow that if you're interested, if you have a Twitter, etc. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.